Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. What's up, guys? Juan here. I'm here with Eddie, one of our players at St. John's Prep. He's one of our left-handed arms. So we did a lot of fastball stuff last week, so this week we're going to do some change-up stuff. So we're going to talk about the change-up, different grips, different pitch types from youth level all the way up through high school level and even college level where Eddie's going to end up playing next year. Eddie, can you just show us the grip that you use? Yeah, sure. So I've been playing around with a lot of grips since last year. Uh, last year was the first year where I felt comfortable actually throwing the pitch in any count. Um, so the way I've been throwing it is like this. Um, so my two left side fingers um, on the seams, my pointer finger and thumb kind of making a circle on the left side and the pinky just down on the side. Um, you can just play around with the pinky, it doesn't really matter where it goes. Um, I'm just comfortable putting it on the kind of the bottom seam. Um, and I'm kind of a sidearm pitcher, so when I throw it, I'm just kind of throwing it like a fastball. Um, you're just thinking fastball, 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 fastball all the way through. Um, I love a little natural pronation. Can I see that grip one more time? Yeah. So Eddie gets a lot of fade and a lot of sync on his on his uh, change up here. And if you see here, he kind of overlaps almost like a two seam look, but he has that two seam look with his middle fingers and then he circles, like you said, on this side. But that two seam look, and it's a little bit overlapped on there, but that's what's going to allow that real run on his change up. And then obviously the friction that he creates is going to allow the sync to happen. So he kind of has both going at the same time. It's a pretty filthy pitch that he throws. Um, for younger guys out there, if you want somewhat of a similar look to your changeup and you have smaller hands, say you're 10, 11, 12 years old, I really recommend hold your two seam. Now all we're going to do is we're going to slide over and put our index finger to the side of the seam and our middle finger right down the middle. So kind of like this. And then we're going to get our ring finger and get on the other side. All right, so it's going to be a very similar change up for you guys who have smaller hands and can't really do the circle change just yet because you're too young. We're just not physically there yet um, in terms of size. So this look right here, okay, thumb right underneath to start off with. The more we fade our thumb to the side, the more sink and slice that we're going to get. So if you're right underneath it, you're probably going to get more of a split look. The more we fade that thumb to the side, we're going to get that nice fade at the same time. But if you're a young guy, this is going to be a very good grip to start off with, almost like a two seam grip okay, with these two fingers, the index and the ring, and then the middle finger just comes down the middle just for extra friction to slow that pitch down. You're going to have a much, much similar look to what Eddie has with his grip, which is a much more advanced grip than the other guys watching this video. Hey, thanks yeah, well. for doing this for me. Um, guys, before anything, do me a favor. Let's smash that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, all that type of good stuff. I'll see you guys later.